In this problem, uh, this more of a conceptual problem right here, our goal is to find out, is the force necessarily zero on a charge that is placed inside a cavity of a neutrally conducting volume right here? So the, just imagine this being some sort of a obscure blob of a volume of a metal conducting sphere. And then we got this uh, also obscure shape right here with the cavity. And we put um, some charge, either positive or negative right here, um, uh, inside the cavity in some non-symmetrical um, location in the middle. And our goal is to ask, is the, is the force on the charge necessarily equal to zero? We do know for sure uh, through previous problems and lessons in the section that the net force on the charge is equal to zero. But to answer directly the question for part A is, is the force equal to zero? And uh, the answer is no, it's not necessarily equal to zero because remember, uh, whenever you have this happen right here, and assuming this is, is, a, uh, this is a positive charge, you'll have all these little negative charges starting to accumulate on the surface of the uh, of the cavity right here, which also induces uh, positive charges all throughout here. You have all these all through the out the uh, the outside of it because it pulls negative charge away from the outside to the inside, and which causes a net um, net positive charge on the outside. So, with all these negative charges here, we have a, a force of attraction that kind of pulls this charge towards. Uh, the outside, or you could also think of it as, um, you know, pulling these charges in, but if we're just talking about relative to this charge, we have, a, like, this one will cause a pulling effect on this charge toward, towards this wall, but this one also does a pulling effect to the charge uh, on this wall right here. And obviously, the, the magnitude is different based off the 1 over r squared value right here, but there are still, there's forces acting out on this charge right here. However, uh, they act in a way so the net force is equal to zero, but to answer the question directly, there is still force that's being applied onto this charge right here. Now, while we still have time, we can go ahead and go to part B, and uh, the part B asks is, is, it, is the force always, uh, I'm not even going to write this out, but is the force that on a uh, on a charge as it gets closer to a conductor is it always equal is it always uh, attractive in nature let me uh, be a little bit more specific here so let's go ahead and uh, for the sake of not confusing let's oops that is not the eraser let me go ahead and just get rid of uh, this graphic right here I guess I could have just scrolled down but um let's see I will make a sphere Right? So if we have some sort of conducting sphere right here, and we have some sort of uh, Q, some positive charge, and we bring it towards this uh, this conducting sphere that we have over here to the right, it's going to, like I said, it's going to induce a bunch of net negative charges here, but it's also going to induce a bunch of net positive charges right here because it's going to pull the electrons away from this area over here. And so the way the electric field lines are going to look is that it's going to, they're gonna want to pull the, uh, the, uh, the the Q charge over here, but we also have some uh, electric field lines that um, kind of push each other away. Uh, that kind of it, there there is a repulsion effect right here, still from the other side of this uh, conducting sphere right here that kind of pushes it away, but it's so little in magnitude that um, um, compared to the attractive force between this thing, these two sides right here, that the, uh, it's it's hardly noticeable and. And, uh, and still gonna be able to attract right here. That's why whenever you, assuming like this is a magnet, right? If if you put up a magnet towards the uh, uh, refrigerator, which would be a pretty good uh, large conducting metal surface right here, the, uh, the the magnet's still gonna stick onto the surface of the of the refrigerator, even though there's a net positive charge that's being in, uh, induced on the back of the, the refrigerator. But there's still a repulsive force happening on the back it's just not that strong so to directly answer the part b of the question is that uh, no the net the the force isn't necessarily always a, a attractive whenever you bring a charge to a conducting sphere there's always a, a repulsive but it's just weak in nature due to the uh the distance the one over r squared from the uh, the electric field